Ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon to you, and we welcome you to the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino here in Las Vegas, Nevada, as Premier Boxing Champions presents the official weigh-in for our big night of action taking place tomorrow night at the joint here at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Our action is brought to you by Mayweather Promotions, TGB Promotions, and Showtime, and sponsored by Corona Extra, who invites you to find your Beach and Casa Noble Tequila, the noble pursuit. Well, fans, our Showtime Championship Boxing Open attraction is 12 rounds of boxing for the IBF Junior Middleweight World Title Eliminator. Please welcome the fighters at this time as they make their way to the stage. First, we invite a man with 17 knockouts in his 20 wins. He is ranked the IBF number four world contender, fighting out of Chicago by way of Kingston, Jamaica. Please welcome Nathaniel Gallimore. And we invite his opponent to the stage at this time, 15 knockouts in his 24 victories. He is ranked the IBF number five world contender, number two in the world by the WBC from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Please welcome Julian J-Rock Williams. For this world title eliminator, the weight limit is 154 pounds, 154 pounds. We're ready to bring our fighters on to the scale at this time. First, ladies and gentlemen, once again, he has ranked the IBF number four world contender, Nathaniel Gallimore. Nathaniel Gallimore weighs in at 153 pounds, 153 pounds even. And now we invite his opponent to the scale at this time, the former world title challenger, ranked number five in the world at this time, Julian J-Rock Williams. Julian J. Rock Williams weighs in right at the limit of 154 pounds. 154 for Julian J. Rock Williams. And it, once again, it opens up our Showtime Championship, a boxing broadcast, 12 rounds, IBF Junior Middleweight World a Title Eliminator. Julian J. Rock Williams, Nathaniel Gallimore, great action, opens up our show on Showtime Championship Boxing. Nathaniel Gallimore, show uh, cameras. cameras are straight ahead. Show, show the box of cereal. What's the significance of Fruity Pebbles? He's a fruit. He ain't serious. He ain't no rock. I'm going to eat him come Saturday. Nothing about it. You told us at the fighter meetings earlier today that you fought better fighters already than Julian Williams. So in your mind, is this going to be an easy fight? Look, Saturday night, you have to tune in to see that.
it's going to be a fight to remember. But it's not going to go the distance. Good luck to you. J-Rock, it seems to us watching from the outside that Nathaniel Gallimore has tried to make this personal. You haven't really bitten the, 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 ba the bait. I don't, I don't really care uh, to get into, into the beating, but we can do one thing. We can bet his purse. Let's bet your purse and we're going to win this fight right now. You got so much. No, I'm, I don't, listen, I don't want to fight. I want to fight tomorrow. Let's bet your purse. I'm talking about the whole purse. If, when I beat your ass, nobody gets paid. Let's bet the purse. Where's the manager? Come on. Shake, All right. Shake. Bob, Bob Bennett, the executive director of the Nevada Athletic Commission, doesn't like that idea. One more question, J-Rock. A year and a half ago, you had a title fight. didn't work out. Now you're one fight away from fighting again for a title. How are you a different fighter now than you were a year and a half ago? Uh, I'm a lot more patient. You know, uh, we went over uh, some things that we did wrong. We corrected those mistakes, and uh, I'm a much better fighter. You, want, you guys going to see it tomorrow night. Wish you luck. Good luck. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we continue our official weigh-in with a world title attraction brought to you in association with Warriors Boxing. It's a rematch of one of the great fights of 2017. 12 rounds of action in a rematch for the IBF Super Middleweight Championship of the World. First, we invite to the stage the challenger. With 14 knockouts in his 23 wins, he is ranked the IBF number eight world contender. Fighting out of Harlesden by way of St. Albans in England, please welcome the former IBF super middleweight champion of the world, James Chunky DeGale. And now we invite to the stage his opponent, the defending world champion, 18 knockouts in his 29 victories from Osseo, Minnesota. Please welcome the defending IBF super middleweight champion of the world, Golden, Caleb Truhax. And now we bring our fighters to the scale. Once again, our weight limit is 168 pounds, super middleweights. First, we present the challenger, the former world champion. He's looking for revenge, looking to regain his title, James Chunky DeGale. One hundred sixty-seven and a quarter pounds for the challenger, James Chunky DeGale. And now here is the defending world champion making the first defense of his title, the IBF super middleweight champion of the world, Golden, Caleb Truax. One hundred sixty-seven and three quarter pounds for the champion. One sixty-seven and three quarter for Caleb uh, Truax. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, one of the great fights of 2017. It's a rematch tomorrow night at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. 12 rounds of action for the IBF Super Middleweight Championship of the World. Caleb Truax, James Chunky DeGale.
James DeGale, you were 14 to 1 favorite when you got beat in December. You're still a 4 to 1 favorite. How do you explain being a 4 to 1 favorite against a fighter who just beat you? Oh, I don't know because the, the people, the boxing people, the general public know that I'm levels above uh, Truex. Listen, he had to get in there and do the job, so you've got to give him, you've got to give him a man the credit. But I believe I'm so much better, better than him. And on Saturday night, I've got a chance to get back my title and show the world that I'm back. When we talked to you at the fighter meetings, you were very enthused, you have a great attitude to this fight. But you're fighting, there's a sense of urgency here, isn't there? I mean, you're fighting for your career, aren't you? My career is in the balance right now, I promise you. If I lose, where do I go? For the past two and a half years, I was world champion. I boxed the very, very best and come up with results. And I lost to a, a guy that really uh, ain't on my level. I'm telling you the truth. I'm just being, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm so honest uh, to myself. So I'm saying I'm very real. And if I can't deal with Truax in a good way, then I don't know. We have to see. We wish you luck. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck, James. Caleb, come on out here. Caleb Truex, only one fighter came up here with a belt. That's you. Hey, that's me. Yeah, you're yeah. the underdog. Used to be his. Are you, do you feel disrespected when you look at the odds and you consider, you said to us that you consider James DeGale's overlooking you again? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I thought I did the job pretty well last time and, and beat him pretty convincingly. And uh, from what I saw, I was a six to one underdog. And I don't think that, uh, I mean, a lot of people are going to make some money betting on me. <laughs> put, put it that way. The, um, any fighter wants to be better the second time in a rematch. You fought what you called the perfect fight against him in England. How do you fight better this time? Uh, like I said in the fighting meetings, uh, there's some things that I could have done better, and there's uh, things that he could have done better, and I'll be prepared for those things and, and uh, just adapt to anything he uh, throws at me that's new. Wish you luck. Good luck. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to weigh in on the main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing for the unified WBA, IBF, and IBO 154-pound championship of the world. And it's all brought to you by Mayweather Promotions, TGB Promotions, and Showtime, as sponsored by Corona Extra, who invites you to find your beach and Casa Noble Tequila, the noble pursuit. Ladies and gentlemen, first we invite to the stage the defending IBF world champion, undefeated at 21-0 with 15 knockouts, fighting out of Akokik, Prince George's County in Maryland. Here is the undefeated IBF junior middleweight champion of the world, Swift Jarrett Hurd. And his opponent we invite to the stage at this time. With a record of 25 wins, two losses and two draws, he has 14 knockouts. He is fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada by way of Guantanamo, Cuba. Here is the WBA and IBO a super welterweight champion of the world, Eris Lundi, the American dream, Lara. For this unification for the 154 pound world championship, of course the weight limit 154 pounds. We're ready to bring our fighters to the scale at this time. First, he'll be making the second defense of his title. He is risking his unblemished record and his title. Here is the IBF junior middleweight champion of the world, Swift Jarrett Hurd.
Jared Hurd weighs in at 153 pounds. 153. And now to the scale, the longest reigning 154 pound champion of the world. He is the WBA and IBO champion of the world, Eris Lundy, the American dream, Lara. One hundred fifty-three and a half pounds for Lara. One fifty-three and a half pounds. And we're going to have our fighters pose and face off in the center of the stage. It is the main event of the evening. The best fighting the best. 12 rounds of action for the unified 154-pound championship of the world. Jared Hurd, the undefeated IBF champion. Eris Lundy Lada. The WBA and IBO Super Welterweight World Champion. It's the main event of the evening on Showtime Championship Boxing. And there they are, ladies and gentlemen, facing each other for the last time until they meet in the center of the ring tomorrow night for the main event of the evening. Jared Heard, you hear how people are responding. Everybody wants to see this fight. No, most fighters at 154 are not in a rush to fight Arslan Larry. yet this is a fight you've wanted for a while. Why? Listen, they over here saying I'm not ready. I went through top contender to top to Olympian to top five, former title challenger. I went to a, a top contender, and now I fought a former world champion. Now I'm about to face a world champion. I'm more than ready. This is my time right now. I cannot wait to get on that stage and show the world why I'm asking for this fight. You told us before you want to come forward behind your jab, but is the strategy basically to try to run him out of the ring? Uh, we know he's going to use the ring, but uh, you can't run for Swift Jared Hurd for 12 rounds. I'm going to be in this face. Ain't no running to come fight night. He's going to have to engage at some point. Good luck to you. All right, Louis de Cubas will translate. Like to Eris Landy, he's fought a lot of really top-level fighters in his career. Where does he feel Jared Hurd belongs on that list? Mucho bueno. ¿Dónde tú crees que este chamaco está en la lista? Está en el número 10. Probably 10. Vira la gorra. 10th best of the fighters he's fought. ¿De los mejores 10? No creo. No creo que tenga los mejores 10 todavía. I don't think he makes his top 10 list. He hasn't fought with nobody. Doesn't make the top 10, okay. 
Lara's been a champion longer than any other 154 pounder. What will it mean to him to have more than one of the four major belts? Tú sido campeón más largo de todo. ¿Para qué va a significar tener las tres fajas? Eh, yo peleo para mi para mi familia y mis hijos. Eso es lo más importante. Esa faja viene para mi casa. Así. He says I fight for my family, for my kids. That belt's coming home with my kids. Good luck, buena suerte. Thank you, Lou. Thank you.